George is here with me. 10 months ago, he came on stage six. As you can see, it was a full stage six. The area here is completely bald. Also, the crown is quite thin. So I proceeded to a two day session with 3,500 graphs. This is day number one from the left side and we did the left side uh, of the head. This is day two. Day two we went on the, on the other side. You can see already on after 10 hours from or 12 hours, the left side is already nicely healed. This is day two. We reached just up to here, not even down to the vertex transition point. Let's see now after 10, just 10 months, no finasteride, only minoxidil for the first six months, our result. This is the result. It's a nice, it's not a very thick hair, but the hair is a bit wavy. Come closer so you can see. And this is the result. You can also see here that this area has responded quite well to minoxidil. This is a transplanted area. This is non-transplanted, but you can see that it's much thicker only with minoxidil because he doesn't want to take finasteride. Uh, can we, can I wet the hair? Okay, let's see. If we wet the hair, even with wet hair, this stage, you see, this stage six, previously stage six is nice and thick and with quite good coverage. He should leave it a bit longer to have even better coverage, but I think it's pretty good. Let's see the donor area. Now the donor area looks great. It doesn't look thin at all. Even with shorter hair, it will not look thin. Even if we wet the donor area, you will see that there is no thinning or any signs of surgery. So now George will come back in four months from now so that we can complete his procedure by doing the crown with another probably 2,000 or 2,500 grafts.